You good? If you could please take your seats, we're about to begin. Good morning. I am Alan Kazarian, Guidance Director at Falmouth High School, and I am honored to welcome you to our Class of 2022 graduation ceremony. This is such an exciting yet dignified event for our graduates, and a lot of time and planning has gone into preparing speeches, rehearsing music, and making a program that our graduates will be proud of. There are some reminders I need to review with you, and I ask for your cooperation. If first of all, you could please silence your cell phone so that it does not become a distraction during our ceremony. Please keep your chairs on the plywood platform so as not to damage our turf field. Please be aware that smoking is prohibited on school grounds in accordance with our state laws. This means on the field, in the parking lot, and any outdoor area on our campus. Please remain in your seat throughout the ceremony you are permitted to take pictures from your location, but please do not leave your seat as graduates are called to the stage. There will be a photographer taking a picture of each graduate after they exit this stage. Also, please refrain from any loud or excessive noise while the graduate names are being read. Each student has worked so hard to be here, and they deserve to have their name heard and all of their, accomplishes, all of their accomplishments respected. At the end of the ceremony, please remain in your seat until the graduates complete their hat toss, and Mr. McMenamin concludes the ceremony. Today's graduation ceremony is being produced by Falmouth Community Television and is being broadcast live on Channel 14 and online at fctv.org. A DVD recording of the ceremony will be offered to all of our graduates. Finally, we would like to thank the high school administration, faculty volunteers, and our wonderful maintenance staff for all of their hard work to make an outdoor graduation a possibility for our graduates. I thank you for your attention to these important matters, and now I'd like to introduce you to our award-winning concert band and their director, Sarah Wheeler, and I ask you to please stand and welcome Falmouth High School Class of 2022.
Thank you, Falmouth High School Concert Band. Welcome. Please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem performed by the Falmouth High School Repertory Singers. Thank you very much. Student and faculty honor guard, thank you. You can take your seats and everyone else, you can take your seats as well. We will now hear a music selection, The Road Home, from the Falmouth High School Contra Choir.
Thank you very much, choir. Good morning, everybody. My name is Tom McManaman, and I have been extremely honored over the last six months to serve as the interim principal for the class of 2022. I welcome you families, friends, staff, and above all, I welcome you graduates, you seniors. You all have so much to be proud of today. You have lived and worked through what I would describe as the hardest two years of public education. And you've done so while building on your own sense of character and your own sense of resilience. I don't want to spend what little time I have here speaking only of the COVID pandemic, but it's impossible to ignore the fact that your only normal year of high school was when you were freshmen four years ago. But with all that was taken from you, you have added so much. You've added to your academic skills. You've added your voices to our choir, your instruments to our bands. You've added your physical skills to our athletic fields and your cheers to the stands. You've added drama and comedy to the stage. You've added paint and mixed media to canvases, clay to kilns that, like you, just needed a little molding and guidance until it was fired into something firm and strong. You've added through your service to our clubs and our honor societies. You've added laughter to our cafeterias and our classrooms. You've added care and compassion for your classmates who needed it and delight to your teachers, counselors, and support staff who watched you take that last step that they always knew you could. In this very moment, you had a little joy and a little sadness to your families, so proud of this accomplishment, while simultaneously a little heartbroken to the, see this journey come to its natural conclusion. With all you have lost over the last four years, you have added so much more to this school and to this community. Today, it's the rest of us who lose because you won't be walking in those doors on Monday. It's a change. And for all of us, change is exciting, hard, exhilarating, and a little scary. Trust me, I get that. When I walked in the doors this past September, I never thought that I would be standing here today delivering the principal's remarks to you. And while I'm on that subject, I do want to take a brief moment to recognize the person who did serve as building principal for the past seven years, even if one of her final requests when she held the position was that we not do this, but she's not in charge anymore, so. <laughs> Mrs. Mary Gans was and is a leader in the truest sense of the word. Through tragedies that shook our town to its core, a global pandemic that changed the face of education, and her own illness, Mrs. Gans remained dauntless in her philosophy that every student deserves a fresh start every single day, and that conversation, compassion, and empathy go a long way to helping students see their path to graduation and beyond. I've been so lucky to call her a supervisor, a mentor, a colleague, and a friend through that time. And I know you all join me in offering Mrs. Gans our deepest gratitude for her commitment to all Clippers. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> when I started working at Falmouth High School as an English teacher in 2004, I was lucky enough to teach several senior classes, something I did right until moving on to my role as assistant principal. Every year on the last day of classes, and yes, seniors, I was that teacher that made everyone show up on the last day, I sat them in a circle for a few minutes and read a poem from poet laureate Robert Pinsky. It gave me one last chance to talk to them and offer a little advice. It's a tradition I miss terribly, and one I hope you'll humor me with as I revisit it today near the end of my time. The poem is titled Samurai Song. When I had no roof, I made audacity my roof. When I had no supper, my eyes dined. When I had no eyes, I listened. When I had no ears, I thought. When I had no thought, I waited. When I had no father, I made care my father. When I had no mother, I embraced order. When I had no friend, I made quiet my friend. When I had no enemy, I opposed my body. When I had no temple, I made my voice my temple. I have no priest, my tongue is my choir. When I have no means, fortune is my means. When I have nothing, death will be my fortune. Need is my tactic 
Detachment is my strategy. When I had no lover, I courted my sleep. <clears throat> I read this poem during my first year of teaching after we very sadly had lost a student, and I had that student in class. In that moment, we talked about how the student was never one who let obstacles keep her down. But in the following years, the poem became about the seniors in front of me. I think many people could see these words and lines as sad or a little hopeless. To me, it's an opportunity to say that maybe you have everything you need already. As I look out at the 186 maroon caps before me, this sentiment rings as true as it ever has. You all may have felt the loss of so much over these last two years, but look at what you have made happen with what you already had. As you take this next step into the great unknown, never forget that you have exactly what you need to get by. And when those days arrive where you feel something's a little missing, never forget that you have a home here as family, friends, and forever as clippers. I do think I'm supposed to leave you all with some grand advice or, or something life-changing during the speech about what you're supposed to do to make change, to make the world a better place, to carve your own path. I'll be honest, that's a lot of weight to put on the shoulders of someone who feels like his own graduation from Falmouth High School wasn't that long ago. But I've tossed this over a lot, asking myself if I should focus on a variety of topics. The terrible racial unrest that we still see and exists in our country the violence we can't seem to escape in the world around us, or maybe as my Latin teacher, Ms. Twitchell, would have suggested, a quote from that ancient language which would unravel some secret of the world from 2,000 years ago that still applies today. But in the end, I kept coming back to one simple truth for you seniors that has never misled me. Be generous. Be generous with your time, your care for others, your forgiveness when someone wrongs you. Be generous with your family, your friends, and especially with those with whom you don't always see eye to eye. Be generous with your service to others, your activism for a cause you know is right, and your understanding that someone may not get it just yet. To me, being generous means creating empathy in yourself and understanding someone from a different house, socioeconomic status, culture, or race may have a different vision of the world than you do. A little generosity opens the roads towards understanding and community. It can bring us together instead of dividing us, something we need terribly in our world today. And you can be the agents of that change, seniors. It just takes a little generosity. I'll be honest, class of 22, it's hard to say goodbye to you all today. But I've reached the end, and you know I like poems, so I'll conclude by offering this important line from another great American poet, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Thank you and congratulations, FHS Clippers from the class of 2022. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce Thomas Walker, Vice President of the Senior Class. Good morning, everyone. My name is Thomas Walker, and I'm the Vice President of the Class of 2022. First and foremost, I want to thank you all for being here today. And I'd like us all to take a moment to appreciate that we can be here today. Friends, families, classmates, teachers, all here in person, not over Zoom, but just here, in the moment, together. I'm honored to be giving this welcoming to you all, because without all of your support, who knows whether any of us would have made it up to the stage today. For a lot of us, our journeys began here in one of Fallon's elementary schools and hasn't stopped since, making our way through Morse Pond to Lawrence and finally here. For others, our journey started outside of Falmouth and somehow found our way here. Now, while every single one of us took a different path to get here, we all ended up graduating here together. Together is the word I want to emphasize there because we as a class overcame some of the strangest high school years we could have. A global pandemic pushed us out of school and onto Zoom. Yet through muted mics, cameras at forehead level, and bad Wi-Fi, we pushed through and still made it through together. When the time came for us to come back to school, it was almost shocking to see people you hadn't seen in years for the first time. But in the end, we made it through together. And with that said, I don't want COVID to define us who we are. 
or for us to be remembered as the COVID class. With or without COVID, we earned our right to walk on this stage today. Through late night science labs, begging for extensions on essays, and facing a never ending stream of Khan Academy lessons, we made it here today, together. Did COVID make everything a little different? Yeah, well maybe not a little, but a lot. But here we are, and all of us are here graduating together. The class of 2022 made it through, not through luck, but through grit and determination, refusing to let a global pandemic define who we are. All of us here today, waiting to walk on the stage, have accomplished something. And now I feel it is the time for us not to look forward for what we might be doing, but to look back and celebrate the journey just as much as the destination. Remember all the times you thought you couldn't make it, and then someone helped you get going again. Whether it was a friend, family, or anyone, we could have not made it here alone. That's why I say we aren't graduating as individuals. We're graduating as the class of 2022, whose individual accomplishments make us greater. Most of us have been here for 13 years of school together. Uh, most of us stand here at 18 years old. That number seems like much of our life. In the grand scheme of things, it only makes up so little and only a fraction of our potential. If you were to ask me in first grade where I'd think I'd be when I was 18, I probably would have given the most obvious answer. I'd be a Power Ranger. <laughs> Sadly, that never came true. Though I am up here right now, so I did pretty good, I think. But if you were to ask me where you think I'd be in 30 years, I couldn't give you any answer. I could maybe give you a vague idea, but I don't know. Where our lives take us is unknown. But our hope remain in all of our futures is a little bit of found with wherever we may go. Bring the memories you made here with us, as they made you who you are today. Years down the line, look back at all the things you did. Look back at the mistakes, the regrets, everything. Without them, you wouldn't be where you are today or where you'll be tomorrow. Standing here, I realized that it took me my whole time in school to understand something simple. I spent days stressing over grades and tests, when in truth, those aren't even close to being the most important thing in school. The more I realized the most important thing are the friends you'll never forget or the teachers you'll always stay in touch with. The most important thing is the connections you'll make along the way with other people. These connections help form who we are and unite us as a whole. It's what unites us as the class of 2022. It's all the people graduating with those who we have connections with tying us all together. As I said before, the future is uncertain and life is waiting to throw you for a loop. But together, we brave that certainty and sail into the future, just like the Clippers we are. So welcome to the Falmouth High School graduation for the class of 2022. After all this is said and done, and we leave the school not as students, but graduates, I asked everyone to take a moment and think about the journey you took to get here, and appreciate where you are now and where you'll be going later. As Master Ugwe from Kung Fu Panda once said, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That's why we call it the present. Thank you all, and congratulations to the class of 2022. I'd now like to welcome Samantha McKenzie, the secretary and treasurer of our class. Hello, my name is Sam McKenzie, and I'm the secretary and treasurer for the class of 2022. After today, we will never be in the same room as each other again. We will never walk the same halls or sit in the same class together. Tomorrow is the day that our lives move on. After walking across the stage, a new beginning starts. Everyone, knows, everyone has always said these last four years would fly by. They would go by in a blink of an eye. One, I didn't understand what they really meant, but they weren't kidding. I felt like it was just yesterday I was driving to the first day of high school with my older brother, asking him to walk me to my first class, which he refused. I was so nervous, and now just like that, here he is watching me walk across this stage. There are so many people sitting in front of me today that I went to preschool with. One of the best things about going to school with you all for so long is watching everyone grow into who they are today, growing into young, mature adults. Everyone in this room has worked incredibly hard in some way to be where they are today and where they're going to go in the future. As we continue on to our futures, whether you're going to college or you're going to work, I have this advice that I want to pass on to you. One, never forget each other. 
as everyone goes on their own way and continues their journey to meet new friends and people. Never forget the people who helped you get there. The people who made high school tolerable and even fun. And two, most importantly, never forget who you are as a person. No matter what life brings you or where you go in life, the most important part is that you are true to yourself and never lose who you are. Lastly, I would like to thank our class advisors, Coach G and Miss Payne. On behalf of the class of 2022, we would like to thank them for all their work they had put in over the last four years. Without them and many of the staff members, we would not have been able to have all the opportunities and activities we've had throughout our high school years. Now, I would like to introduce our guests as well as our, as well as our FHS retirees we have on stage celebrating the end of this journey with us. First, we have Dr. Lori S. Dewar, the superintendent of Falmouth Public Schools. <laughs> Dr. Dewar became superintendent of Falmouth Public Schools in July 2018. Her focus has been to strengthen community sport through open and honest communication. Dr. Dewar engaged school, town, and community stakeholders to establish a clear strategy to enhance school safety and develop a comprehensive wellness policy to promote healthy eating, physical activity, and social and emotional well-being for all students and staff. Dr. Dewar has made it a priority to ensure staff and students are focused on equity for all Falmouth Public School students by reviewing district policies and practices, adding an authentic and relatable curriculum, expanding staff recruiting, engaging staff and administrators in professional development, adopting restorative practices, offering the Cape Kid Meals Program, working with the Affirmative Action Committee, and connecting our staff and students to No Place for Hate in the Woods Hole Diversity Advisory Committee. Dr. Dora, along with the school committee, focused their efforts on revising the district's mission, vision, and core values, which aligns with our framework for student success. She also established the Woods Hole Partnership Teach for Learning Committee, Homework Advisory Committee, and the COVID-19 Reopening Schools Committee, as she places great value on the input of parents, staff, and the community. Next is Kelly Welch, Vice Chair of the Family School Committee. Since earning her degree, <laughs> since earning her degree from Cornell University, Ms. Welch has worked in the education-focused nonprofits and public ed education for over 20 years addressing a wide variety of subjects, including suicide prevention, culinary arts, substance abuse, and as a seventh grade teacher. She is currently the executive director of a Falmouth-based nonprofit, T. Maureen, that offers cervical cancer and HPV prevention and education. She has been a town meeting member since 2011 and a proud school committee member since 2014. Also guiding us on our journey has been our principal, Mr. Mack. While he has been around FHS supporting and encouraging us all to be our best selves since our freshman year. This year, he rose to the occasion of finishing this year as our principal. We are thankful for his determination, his passion, and his drive to make this year the best it possibly could be for us. His infectious smile and positive attitude in the halls has kept us moving forward, even in the difficult times of the pandemic. We have been extremely fortunate to have had him as our captain of the Clipper ship, navigating and steering us over these past final months of our Falmouth High School journey, and we thank him. Finally, we would like to spend a few minutes acknowledging two staff members who are retiring this year. First, we honor Ms. Dawn Ahern. She has taught in Falmouth for 28 years. If not the first, she was one of the first ESL teachers in Falmouth and was the only ELD teacher for many years and worked in grades K through 12. Ms. Ahern has developed countless relationships with students and families from various cultural and linguistic backgrounds, sharing with them their desire for students to succeed in school. She has also been promoting in a model for cultural proficiency in our schools. Ms. Ahern, we thank you for your dedication to our students. Next is Mr. Thomas Gallagher, FHS custodian. Mr. Gallagher was hired at Lawrence School in 2011, where he was reassigned to us here at the high school in 2015, where he completed his career. As we consider the many compliments we receive on the state of our building and its ongoing maintenance, we know that Mr. Gallagher played a substantial role in its upkeep. 
Mr. Gallagher, we thank you for making FHS a place where students had a learning environment that was positive, safe, and clean. We are so appreciative of you all. Thank you for your time. It is now my pleasure to introduce James Walden, President of the National Honor Society. Hello everyone, my name is James Walden and I am the President of the Falmouth High School National Honor Society. I'd like to start today by thanking all of you for being with us here today. And I'd also like to thank the faculty and staff who have supported us all throughout our journey and helped us guide us to this momentous occasion, graduation. No matter where you go following today's celebration, I'd ask that you remember your roots and the community that influenced who you are today. I remember my first day here very vividly. I wandered the halls having absolutely no clue where I was going. Though I knew nothing of the school, I only had one objective in mind, and that was to graduate. In fact, that very same goal had been a common theme throughout my years in school. Get through elementary school so I can get to middle school. Struggle through middle school to make it to junior high. Find some way to get through junior high to get to high school. And finally, make it through high school to graduate. What I'm getting at is that up till now, our path has been fairly linear. We've had one clear goal in mind with the road to success plainly presented in front of us. However, we are now presented with a crossroads. We are free to choose our path, but we have no guarantee of the future. Though this may seem daunting, I like to believe that most of us are excited about our newfound freedom. Through years of trials and tribulations, we've cemented our independence and our right to think for ourselves. Whether you're entering the workforce, taking time off, or continuing to a higher education, Remember the achievements you've accumulated leading up to today and allow that to give you courage. As Dr. Michael Morbius once said, we have to push the boundaries, take the risks. We have an astoundingly resilient group of individuals graduating here today. We have a group willing to face any challenge, no matter the difficulty, and then brush it off like it was nothing. There's no doubt in my mind that the graduates standing before me will live boldly and take the risks necessary to succeed in life. Just a few days ago, I was informed that the short speech I was writing was in fact the commencement speech of our graduation. The question for myself then became what a commencement speech actually was. For one thing, I knew it would be a headache for the faculty in charge of editing my speech because despite 12 years of education, I still managed to do everything at the very last minute. But beyond that, I decided to Google the definition of commencement. What I was given was brief, but I consider it to be very insightful. Google defined commencement as a beginning, a start. What could be a better way to describe graduation? Fellow graduates, today is the start of the rest of our lives. If that doesn't excite you, I don't know what possibly could. You have the power to choose your own destiny. Become an artist, singer, songwriter, astrophysicist, engineer, active duty member of our military, marine biologist, captain, computer scientist, hairstylist, photographer, business person, statistician, politician, or philosopher, whatever piques your interest, whatever makes you feel alive, I implore you all to earnestly pursue it with unrelenting resolve. Only you can decide where you go following today's ceremony, and only you can secure the happiness we all desire. Never lose your excitement for the future and remain passionate in your devotions. Before you all leave here today, I'd like to give you all a piece of advice. Take your time finding your calling. You have your entire life ahead of you, and there's no reason to rush to a conclusion. Don't feel as though you have to decide everything in your life right this instant. Take time to enjoy yourself and experience what the world has to offer. Try something you've always wanted but previously didn't have the courage for. I can't guarantee you anything, but I bet those that take the time to appreciate what life has to offer will be happier in the end. Pursue what makes you happy, and a better life is sure to follow. I'd like to once again thank you all for coming here today, and congratulate all my fellow graduates for making it this far. I'd like to wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors, and remember that you always have a home in this community. Thank you. And now, I welcome Mr. McManaman back to the stage for the presentation of the Roll of Honor.
Just one second, everyone. <clears throat> the Anna K. Harper Roll of Honor is awarded to two seniors chosen by their classmates as best exemplifying loyalty, honor, and service to their class and to Falmouth High School. These students will have their names added to the bronze plaque which hangs outside the auditorium here at Falmouth High. This year, the class of 2022 has chosen Anna C. Fernandez and Milo Mo Moses Van Moy. Come on up, you two. It's now my pleasure to welcome Naomi Haddad, the president of the senior class. Hello, I'm Naomi Haddad and I'm the senior class president of the class of 2022. Before I dive into my speech, I want to invite my peers to simply be in the moment. I feel that we as humans are always caught up in our heads and we rarely embody what the present has to offer. So let's not rush. The ones that surround you today, you may never be in the presence of again. I want each of you to capture this moment. I want you to pause, breathe, and remember what it feels like, what it smells like, what it sounds like, and what it looks like. As I stand up here in front of all of you today, I want to admit that I stared at a blank document for hours on end to figure out what I wanted to say. I had people tell me what I should and should not say to make it more heartfelt or maybe even throw in a couple of jokes here and there. I had this overwhelming pressure that caved in on me to inspire each and every one of you. Then I came to a realization that only I could speak for myself in hopes that others may relate to my experience. High school. It's messy, tiring, carefree, fun-loving, but it's real. I want to rewind us back to freshman year. It was nerve-wracking not knowing where our classes were, wondering where and with whom we were going to sit with at lunch, and the feeling of being small was at its all-time peak. I find it funny that those were the times that used to cause us the most anxiety. Then sophomore year came along. It felt like another year that you knew what to expect. Go to your classes, do what you're supposed to do, and it will reward you in the end. I want to refrain from discussing the pandemic at all costs, but it's impossible to disregard such a global crisis from our high school experience. Later that year, we received a call that our school year was going to be finalized without the need of us being in person. We were taken back by such unexpectedness, but a sense of excitement overcame us. It felt surreal. No school for the rest of the year sounded amazing until junior year rolled around. What we knew as traditional learning was no longer traditional. Video chatting through Zoom became the new normal. Having to adapt to these circumstances wasn't easy for everyone. I struggled in ways that I wasn't used to struggling with in school, and I know that this resonates with others as well. Despite the hardship, this time was also a blessing in disguise. It pulled us together in ways that we hadn't been before. This period of time in our lives allowed personal development to flourish. Mentally, spiritually, and physically, we grew. Finally, senior year approached and the sense of normalcy began to feel familiar again. Then, in a blink of an eye, it was over and done with. And now here we are. The universal truth is that everything eventually comes to an end. Many may say that today is the day that we start our journey, but I have to disagree. The journey began a long time ago. We just didn't know it. Today just so happens to be the day where the path we've been traveling on splits into 186 unique roads. For some, these roads may be crossed and they'll walk together down the path that we call life. While for others, 
They may forever stay parallel and never intersect again, but that's okay. This is the last time that I will be speaking with you all as a whole, so I'll be taking this opportunity to advise you all with advice that you may forever hold. One, I want every one of you to know that we are the creators of our own lives. It's our minds and willingness that allows us to become our own people. I believe that there's no true way of living life, but I strongly encourage you to live a life that pursues your own happiness. Even if that does mean facing your fears, to become comfortable, you have to withstand discomfort. That's how we grow as individuals. That's how we learn throughout our lives. Two, if you have a passion, protect it. When people can't do something themselves, they feel obligated to tell you that you can't do it out of their own spite. Don't take advice from others who haven't endured the experiences that you have had or will have. Only you can take the leap and find your path. And three, I said it in the beginning, and I'll say it again. Live in the moment. Time goes by too quickly, and we take it for granted. Before we know it, this moment, right here and right now, will soon be a memory. And now we realize it's not just high school, but life that can be messy, tiring, carefree, fun-loving, and real. It's what you make of it. And I'm thrilled to have gone the opportunity to be your class president. Congratulations to each and every one of you, and I wish you the best as you travel down your unique road. Thank you, class of 2022. And now, I would like to reintroduce the FHS concert band who will play the Falmouth High School song. Thank you, Concert Band, again. We were very lucky at Falmouth High School this year for a number of reasons, and one of those was that we had four wonderful exchange students who joined us in their senior year. They quickly became clippers through and through, important members of our community, joining teams and clubs and activities. And so we'd like to take a moment out for special recognition for Lena Indira Absalon from Germany and Pauline Jansen from Germany. Ludovica Carlino from Italy, and Elisa Ridolfi from Italy. I'd now like to introduce Dr. Lori Dewar, Superintendent of Schools. Good morning, Falmouth High School seniors and soon to be graduating class of 2022. First, I'd like to acknowledge our school committee members, faculty, staff, administrators, guests, and especially our families. Your support is essential and appreciated. Thank you very much. I would also like to take a moment to specifically thank our teachers from pre-kindergarten through high school. The senior class sits be before us today because of every teacher. You've given your very best in helping our students build their knowledge, skills, and ability that brings us to this momentous day.
Seniors, you are graduating from Falmouth High School and you are prepared for the next journey in your life. You are prepared to be yourself, to be a leader, to be the star of your own life. Throughout your years of, at Falmouth Public Schools, you have been challenged and more importantly, you've been taught to challenge yourself. You have been taught to crit critical thinking skills to solve real problems. We have instilled a sense of curiosity to expand your mind and pursue your interests. We have promoted independent thinking while valuing the importance of working together. We have fostered a creative side that brings new perspectives and self-expression. We have inspired you to be the leaders and avoid the status quo. And I hope we have fueled a love for lifelong learning. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. I want a world in, in which there is compassion and un unity. I want a world where people speak, seek understanding. I want a world where we come together no matter our beliefs. I want this world for you. I have hope. I have hope because you are about to enter this world in very significant ways. You're going off to college or military or starting your career, maybe even taking a year off. But you're ready. You're ready to be contributing members of this community or another community somewhere in this world. You've been making a difference during your school career and now you will have a bigger impact in life. You have an opportunity to influence change for the better, to listen for understanding and the truth, to learn about what is most important, to bring people together, go in this world and be the change you want to be. You have spent more than half of your high school years in very stressful times. You've navigated a world pandemic You've navigated a world challenging the mental health of young people. And you've navigated the civic and social challenges in our country. You face these challenges and you've persevered. You followed your heart and showed compassion. You've stood up for what you believe in and you've lifted others up because you are confident in your own personal strength. Maya Angelou said, I can be changed by what happens to me but I refuse to be reduced by it. And throughout these difficult times, you took challenging classes, completed research projects, and developed good study habits. You participated in the arts and played sports. You stayed focused and completed the requirements to stand tall today. You've learned to work well with others, to be a kinder, gentler person who is understanding and accepting of everyone, to care about something important and to act to make a better community and a better world. You've learned to give back. You've learned at a young age that we are social beings, that we cannot exist without others, and our lives are more enriched because of it. These are the values of our great and unique community of Falmouth. This is who we are as members of the special community, and this is the amazing person you've become. If you leave here with compassion for others and generosity of heart, if you leave here knowing how to laugh and have fun and not take yourself too seriously, if you leave here knowing how to advocate for what you believe in and collaborate with others to make it happen, then the Falmouth Public Schools has served you well in helping you succeed in this journey called life. Go out into the world and explore, learn, create, and be the person you always wanted to be. But remember, Falmouth is your home, and once a clipper, always a clipper. On behalf of the school committee and all of us that make up the Falmouth Public Schools, I would like to congratulate each of you and wish you the very best always. And now it is my pleasure and honor to announce by the authority vested in me I publicly affirm these members of the class of 2022 have successfully completed the requirements prescribed by the state of Massachusetts, the Falmouth School Committee, and the Falmouth High School administration and faculty. Congratulations and thank you.
you all ready to get some diplomas or what? All right, Mr. St. Julian, let's start lining them up. Petrushe Peter K. Johnson for Math Honor Society and National Honor Society. <laughs> Gavin Philip Afonso, CVTE Pathways. <laughs> Ella Ann Ahern, World Language Seal of Biliteracy and Math Honor Society. Owen R. Albert. Escarly Izel Alonzo Figueroa. Anthony Jeff Armatrudo. Rochelle Andrade, Our Honor Society. Colin Porter Anglin, CVTE Pathways. Max C. April, Art Honor Society and National Honor Society. Ella Elizabeth Ashley, National Honor Society. Isabella Jean Ashton, Art Honor Society, Math Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Kaliana Virginia Baptista, CVTE Pathways. <laughs> Jessica M. Benoit. Joshua Martin Benoit. Ava Elizabeth Berestecki, National Honor Society. Grace E. Berestecki, CVTE Pathways, Math Honor Society, and National Honor Society. Luciano Rafael Borghese. Math Honor Society and National Honor Society. Matthew Joel Briggs, CVTE Pathways. Jared Michael Burridge Lopes. Drayshawn Derek Kane Williams. Gwendolyn G. Calderbank. Cameron Sean Canute. Andrew Corrette. Colleen May Caswell, Our Society, National Our Society. Mia Isabella Cavosa, Art Honor Society. <laughs> Nicholas Sanzale Jr., CVTE Pathways. <laughs> Caitlin C. Charette, Art Honor Society, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society.
Aiden O'Sullivan Colucci, CVTE Pathways. <laughs> Nicholas John Cohn. <laughs> Madison Jalyn Kahn, Art Honor Society. McKenna Aaron Correa, CVTE Pathways, Math Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Mia Nicole Costa, Tri-M Music Honor Society and CVTE Pathways. <laughs> Kevin Michael Coyne. James R. Critchlow. <laughs> Phoebe A. Cutter, Science Honor Society. <laughs> Sophie E. Cutter. Carter Jack D'Andrea. Lauren Burr Davies. Charlotte Elizabeth Davis. Andrew C. DeBentoncourt. Nicholas John Delsignori. <laughs> Ryan Elizabeth Theo, Art Honor Society. <laughs> Trayton DeAngelis. <laughs> Deirdre Jane DiNicola. Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. Connor R. Drew. Carolyn Grace Dreyer. French Honor Society, Art Honor Society, National Honor Society, and Associate's Degree. James Martin Driscoll. <laughs> Nathaniel Thomas Jury, Art Honor Society and CVT Pathways. <laughs> Juliana L. Dvorak, Art Honor Society. Faith A. Eccles, CVTE Pathways. <laughs> Nigel Jr. Edwin. <laughs> Jasper Richard Robert Estes. Skyler Christiana Falcone, French Honor Society, Art Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Madeline Lee Fenstemaker, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> William Westfall Fenstemaker. Anna C. Fernandez, Spanish Honor Society, World Language Seal of Biliteracy, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Lauren Jane Fish. Hunter Thomas Fleming, CVTE Pathways. Bianca B. Floyd. <laughs> D. 
Taylin Amaya Freeman. Christopher Andrew Frost. Nolan William Fry. Nathaniel W. Gabry. Nicholas Gagnon, Math Honor Society and National Honor Society. William Stewart Gerlock, Spanish Honor Society, World Language Seal of Biliteracy, CVTE Pathways, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Leo A. Giardi, CVTE Pathways, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Sienna Rose Gerard. Art Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, World Language Seal of Biliteracy, and Math Honor Society. Kavant Panther Green, CVTE Pathways. Kara Rosemary Geedy, French Honor Society, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. Megan McDowell Geedy, French Honor Society and National Honor Society. <laughs> Naomi Lynn George Haddad, CVTE Pathways. George A. Hammond, Tri-M Music Honor Society and CVTE Pathways. Arthur James Michael Harbison. Brian Philip Gabriel Harbison. Charles Richard Raphael Harbison. Connor James Harden, CVTE Pathways. Jonathan Martin Harper, Art Honor Society. Miltier X. Hendricks. Mia Christina Hines, CVTE Pathways. Evan H. Hooper, CVTE Pathways. Grace Hostetter, French Honor Society, World Language Seal of Biliteracy, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Anna Beatriz de Paula Hudson. Ava Lee Jackson. Lee Jackson, CVTE Pathways, National Honor Society. <laughs> Kaylee Jager, CVTE Pathways. <laughs> Axel Grady Jensen, CVTE Pathways, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Cole Johnson. Conrad Marlin Johnson. Nick Jones, Art Honor Society. Matthew D. Jones. Merrick Woodley Keough.
Hayden James Landers. Anthony J. LaRocca, Tri-M Music Honor Society and National Honor Society. Jason D. LaRosa, World Language Seal of Biliteracy. Eric C. Larry, CVTE Pathways. Aiden James LeBlanc, CVTE Pathways. Camille Angelo Lee, Spanish Honor Society, World Language Shield by Literacy, Math Honor Society, and Science Honor Society. Luis Lelis, Art Honor Society. Cecilia Luisa Lima, CVTE Pathways. Roman M. Littman, CVTE Pathways, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. Brianca Alexis Lawrenson, CVTE Pathways. David A. Luniev. Maxime A. Luniev, CVTE Pathways. Tiago Jao Mafra. Samantha Abigail Melfi, French Honor Society, National Honor Society. Ariana Gabrielle Marcy. Isabella Marie Marchant. Andrew John Mark Welts, Tri M Music Honor Society, French Honor Society, World Language Shield by Literacy, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Christopher Barry Masita, CVTE Pathways. Jalen J. Matthews, CVTE Pathways. Bryn R. Majewski, Tri-M Music Honor Society and Science Honor Society. Darren Jeffrey McDonald, Jr. Casey Lane McGowan, Art Honor Society and National Honor Society. Samantha D. McKenzie, Spanish Honor Society, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. Yes, yeah. Lindsay Anna Hamilton McKeon, French Honor Society and Art Honor Society. Yeah. Micah Andrew McSween. Emma Meehan, Spanish Honor Society, CVTE Pathways, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Nevea Marie Melton, French Honor Society, Art Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Jonathan Matoza, CVTE Pathways. Morgan Alexis Moniz, CVTE Pathways. Cooper John Mountjoy, Tri-M Music Honor Society, National Honor Society. Abdon Mumtaz, CVTE Pathways.
Emma Monroe, Art Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, World Language Sealed by Literacy, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. Bridget May Murphy, CVTE Pathways. Nolan Tanner Murphy. Christina Ann Ann Nguyen, CVTE Pathways. Ava Norris, French Honor Society, Art Honor Society, and National Honor Society. Patrick Riley Overton, Tri M Music Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, and National Honor Society. Hope Kendall Oliveira, Art Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, World Language Sealed by Literacy, Math Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Ella Suzanne Ostroff, Art Honor Society. <laughs> Mary Sally Otero. Will Raymond Parodies. <laughs> Kushal Patel. <laughs> Mia Bell Paterno, National Honor Society. <laughs> Caitlin Elizabeth Pedro. Drea Sofia Perez. Asen Perkins, CVTE Pathways. Aiden Perry. Dabney James Peters, Tri M Music Honor Society, French Honor Society, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Thomas Clark Peterson Jr., CVTE Pathways Math Honor Society. <laughs> Zuriana Maria Petrosian. Spanish Honor Society, World Language Seal of Biliteracy, Math Honor Society, National Honor Society. <laughs> Kaylee Grace Pierce, Spanish Honor Society, Math Honor Society, National Honor Society. <laughs> Stephen Anthony Pierre. Becca Sky Polzin, National Society of High School Scholars. <laughs> Sam M. Porter. <laughs> Deborah Arujo Razalin, Art Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, World Language Seal of Biliteracy, and National Honor Society. Mason Aiden Reese. Eva X. Reef. Lucas Oliveira Reese. Harrison Michael Remia. Lucas Remsen. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Robbins. Oh. 
Ezra Town Briscoe. Brianna E. Roderick. Jamie Abigail Roth, CVTE Pathways. Shaylee Nicole Rubis, CVTE Pathways. Lola Callie Russell. Jackson T. Scarpellini. Aaron Gerard Schlesinger. Weston Joseph Scottsville. Sydney Jean Seventy, CVTE Pathways. Kaylee A. Shea, CVTE Pathways and National Honor Society. Ella Christina Seeger, Science Honor Society. Devin Daniel Silva. Evelyn Oliveira Silva. Haley Marie Silvia. Brianna Gail Smith, National Honor Society. <laughs> Evanili Kamala Soares. <laughs> Kyle Paul Souza, Spanish Honor Society. Dakota Riley Steele. <laughs> Sophia Marie Steele, Art Honor Society. <laughs> Dennis Sweet. John Michael Sullivan, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Michelle Sylvester. <laughs> Noah Michael Tavares. Fiona Anastasia Trumbull, French Honor Society, World Language Seal of Biliteracy. Milo Moses Van Moy, Tri M Music Honor Society, CVTE Pathways, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. Vincent Nicholas Verano. John James Vincent, CVTE Pathways. Jennifer D. Vu. Kylie Waggett, Art Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. J. 
James David Walden, Tri-M Music Honor Society, CVTE Pathways, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Thomas Patrick Walker, Tri-M Music Honor Society, Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. Benjamin Noah Wilson. Storm A. S. Worley. Eric Stanley Zielinski. Congratulations to the now graduates of the class of 2022. <laughs> I've just cut a couple pieces before we close here. Um, when we exit and recess out, we're asking on behalf of the class that the class is going to leave first, okay? Um, we want to give them one last moment together. They will recess out. They will go around the small gym. And families and friends, you can meet them on that side in the main parking lot in front of the building in front of the small gym, okay? We're just putting together some final pieces here. And graduates, in just a second, we're going to toss some caps, but we want to make sure we have people in a position to get a good picture of that. So I am stalling. <laughs> Seems to be going well, though. I don't think you ever would have picked up on that, right? What's that? Some jokes. Uh, <laughs> Questions up until the last, Kaliana, huh? All right, it looks like we're ready. So graduates, you are going to stand up and turn around and face the audience. And photographers, I'll count them down if you want. Three, two, one. <laughs> 